What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you two ways to update your PS5. If your controller's not working or your PS5 is not working, a regular update can patch your issue if it's a software issue, not a hardware issue. I suggest doing a regular update first because you'll save all your game saves and all your personal data will be stored still on the PS5. Now, if that does not fix your issue, what you can try is a complete reinstall so this is the PS5 reinstall of the firmware. So it takes all the old firmware out. If it has any kind of like software errors, it's gonna delete that and your personal data and your game saves. So make sure you get a separate USB drive around one gig or two gigs of space. And you wanna go into settings and go into your data and save your game saves. And then once you reinstall all that firmware back onto your PS5, then you can sign back into PlayStation Network. Make sure you have your username and password before you do that. And then you can take your USB with your game saves and upload them back onto your, your PS5. Step one, plug in a USB drive that has at least two gigs of storage. And you wanna format it to a FAT32. I'm going to label mine Sony. Once the format is complete, then you want to go to the Sony website or PlayStation.com website and download the proper update. So choose the top one, click on the blue box and download it to your download folder or desktop. You want to make sure everything's capitalized. I'm going to go ahead and download it again. So I already downloaded it before, I'm just replacing it. Then you want to create a folder in capital letters PS5. And in that folder you want to put a folder called update all in capital letters. If it's not in capital letters it won't recognize the file. So go ahead and go inside your USB drive, create a folder, PS5. Click on that folder and in that folder create another folder called update, all in capital letters. And that's where you're going to put the firmware. Now go ahead and grab the update. This is the update and I'm just gonna drag it over to the update folder. And this is less than one gig of storage. Now, your PS5 will not recognize the USB drive if you don't put everything in capital letters and you don't format it to a FAT32. It has to be the latest update. Once you are done, then you go. You can go ahead and just eject. Plug it in right here in the front. So the USB plugs in in the front and we're gonna press and hold the power button for 10 seconds or until you hear a second beat. Okay, that's the first beat. And that's the second beat. And then you can release. Plug in the controller and plug it into the back. Okay. And then you want to go ahead and press the PlayStation button. Let's go ahead and proceed with the system update. Now this is the update only, not the reinstall. And you update through the internet, but if you don't have internet or Wi-Fi or something's wrong with it, then USB is the second best method. Actually, it's more secure doing the USB drop because with internet, you can have an internet droppage. And hit X, and it's telling you it found it right here, and we gotta apply, hit OK. All right, so it says your software will be updated. Go ahead and hit X again. And now the update is going to be less memory or storage space than
the install. So keep that in mind. You only need a two gig USB drive. That would work just fine. All right, so that's it. Your update is applied, so we're good to go with that one. All right, so you wanna basically do the same thing, but we're gonna choose a different file. So you wanna right click the USB drive, format it to a FAT32, and title the USB drive. Go ahead and hit next. Now what you title the USB drive is not necessarily important. It's the folders that are important in the firmware and formatting it in the drive. FAT32 is very important. So go to playstation.com. I'll leave a link in the video description below. All right, make sure you click on the bottom link. It says installation file and you wanna make sure it says ps5 update.pup if it does not say ps5 update.pup then your ps5 won't recognize that file so make sure everything's in capital letters your folders and the file name and you want to drag and drop it into the update folder once it's completely downloaded and so basically the steps are you format the usb drive to a fat32 create a folder ps5 all in capital letters and then inside that ps5 folder another folder called update all capital letters and then inside that update folder is the firmware and then you want to safely eject it all right so let's go ahead and turn it back off and you want to turn it off completely not in rest mode and we're going to do the install and press, go ahead and push it in the front. Keep your controller plugged in and press and hold the power button for about like five, 10 seconds until you hear a second beep. Here's that second beep, release. There we go, I had to switch to input. All right, go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. And instead of going to update, you want to go down to choose number seven and hit X. And then you can hit OK. So make sure you have the USB plugged in. All right, so recognized it. And from this point on, only thing you have to do is click yes. Your PlayStation 5 will be initialized. That means Everything will be deleted, all your personal data, game saves, all your games. But once you sign back into the PlayStation Network, you can re-download all the games that you bought off the PlayStation Store. And also, if you have PlayStation Plus, then you can also reinstall the game saves. So that's how you update and reinstall the PlayStation 5 firmware. If this video was informative and it helped you out, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that owns a PlayStation 5 that might find this video informational, go ahead and click on the share button below to share this video to them. Help someone out. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos.